We enjoyed um, such a good first day, and I'm just going to summarize that very, very briefly. So, I'm, in fact, the first thing was that we were welcomed by the music making, the modern music making, of the um, Adjutant General's um, um, band. Let me say that correctly, the Adjutant General Corps Band. And this was, um, uh, this was then followed by Nigel Osborne's introduction, who drew upon his huge experience um, in setting the scene from community music making through to music therapy in areas of conflict, in conflict zones. And he also spelled out the importance of neuroscience as an evidence base for the validity of the work in music addressing trauma. Major Guy Booth, who is the director of the Ad Adjutant General's Corps band, and he described his work with the band in raising the morale for the troops in Afghanistan and demonstrating the power of music to transform and also the importance of choosing the right music for each situation across a wide range. And then Hugh McManus and Morton Kringlebach uh, demonstrated and explained the importance of neuroscience and in particular um, brain scanning in identifying the nature of, uh, of pain and the centers of pleasure and joy that are capable of supporting those with trauma and followed by their colleague, um, Kira Jesperson, who also demonstrated the uses of music in helping those with trauma to sleep. Then Karen Diamond from, um, from Northern Ireland uh, described the use of songwriting and drawing on her experience uh, in the province, helping children who are victims of um, um, traumatic situations to express their, um, um, their fears, their needs, um, and, 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 their, and their hopes. And this is through songwriting. And then Nigel assisted the audience in creating a brand new song. And this took about 10 minutes. So if 150 people can make a song in 10 minutes, how does that compare with how long it took Schubert to write songs? I'm not quite sure. We need to do the, ma need to do the mathematics. But it was, um, it, it, it was great. Um, ben Shepard, um, he discussed the history uh, of the attempts, both internationally and in the UK, to come to terms with the traumas of war, from shell shock to post-traumatic stress disorders. And then Simon Wesley, Professor Simon Wesley, um, who remains highly influential in the world of um, soldiers' trauma, debunked some of the myths surrounding post-traumatic stress disorders and argued for individual rather than generic diagnoses. And then Julie Sutton and Lord John Alderdice uh, reflected on the uses of music therapy in Northern Ireland and in particular where words fail. And Julie drew on her clinical experiences in Northern Ireland and in Bosnia-Herzegovina to emphasize the importance of the present moment and of um, the healing experience of time in the therapeutic process. Anne Sloboda, another professional music therapist, um, described her work with a group of traumatized patients from many contrasting backgrounds in London. And she demonstrated how sensitive co-improvisation gave participants a sense of uh, security, of safety, and of connection. And then finally, there was a um, a panel discussion of the um, uh, relationship between creativity and, uh, and, 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 and the therapeutic importance of, um, of creativity. Um, all I would say to that is that um, it's important that the enormous success and potential for army musicians who are with us today and were with us yesterday to play an active role in therapeutic processes in various communities. This is a really important point, um, and it sets the scene for more of what we're to hear today. Clearly, music is a relationship between composing, performing, and listening. That creative triangle is all about music making, and it is undoubtedly therapeutic in every sense. I'm going to hand over to Stephen, to, who is the, um, the leader of today's part of the conference, um, and he is um, 
uh, a wonderful uh, broadcaster, musician, musicologist, and um, he's going to introduce some music making into the discussions. But the discussions are going to be quite wide ranging. We're going to be seeing how music has been used and is used in various ways, good and not so good in relation to conflict. We're also going to get artistic responses in different cultural contexts, including um, um, not just music, but other arts and in those different contexts. And that will then sort of draw us naturally back into the therapeutic role of music making. The Army's most senior uh, musician, um, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Bob Meldrum, is going to draw upon his uh, amazing and extended experience in music and in the process of healing. We look forward to his contribution very much and then finally to the concert tonight. But over to you, Stephen, and thank you all for being here. <laughs>